and welcome back to Nas Moss OSR Old School Rotaries. So it's another hot day out here in Compton. It's up in the 90s. Now y'all gonna have to excuse me uh, for having that uh, little uh, hood hood pool. That's how we roll in Compton. That's how we stay cool. Pull that up with some water and ice, and that's that's your pool right there. But uh, enough of that. So. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys and uh, see what the difference are between uh, these old school uh, rotary trannies. Uh, check it out guys. This is what we got here. We got an R100 tranny. We got an RX2 tranny. And we got an RX4 tranny. So this is for a 10A. That goes right on a 10A engine. This one goes on the 12A engine. And this one goes on a 13B engine. Big letters, 13B. All right, so the first thing we're gonna look at are the the transmission casing, the outside casing. And as I'm going along, you can obviously tell that uh, there are some differences. Um, they're not the same, some are longer, some are shorter. We're gonna get more into that. But as you can see, uh, this is what you call the rib case. These are rib cases. Uh, the 10A transmission does have the rib case style, but it's got these bolts on top. Uh, when Mazda went to the RX2, uh, the bolts on top did change. Not only the bolts on top, but there's quite a few differences. There's some bolts right here on the side that the uh, RX2 doesn't come with. Uh, uh, it's got these uh, covers here that the 10A doesn't have. So, as uh, far as casing goes, from the R100 and RX2 does change. Uh, when you come to the RX2 and the RX4, this rib case section here, it's exactly the same. It's identical. They have the same gear ratios. Uh, not only the RX2 and the RX4, but the RX3. I just don't have an RX3 transmission, and RX3 transmission is just like the RX2, basically. So you have the RX2, the RX3, and the RX4. The rib case is identical, and gear ratios are identical. So you can see it's got the two covers here, it's got the two bolts here, two covers here, two bolts. Uh, even the the length is the same. I had to reach over my for my uh, measuring tape, but even the length is the same. Uh, this one's nine, and this one's nine inches as well. So they're both nine inches, including the RX3. They're all um, identical, just in the center section. Obviously, when it comes to the uh, R100, the R100 rib case is it's a lot longer, so. This one is measuring at about, what's that, like 11, 11 and a half. It's measuring at 11 and a half, so it's definitely a lot bigger by a couple inch. Uh, if we go here near the shifter, uh, this even changes to an all three. I mean, the style, the look of it, it's obviously different. As you can see, it's obviously different. Uh, this one has more of a triangle type of shape to it. This one's a more rectangular shape. Uh, this one sits even longer. Yeah, so the tail shaft here, or the tail shaft casing, uh, sits a lot longer. So as the years progress, they kind of kept getting longer and longer. So if I'm gonna roughly measure these right here so you guys can have an idea. So this one's about, more or less it's about 13 and a half. That's the 10A tranny. If we go to the RX2 tranny, this one's about 15 and a half. And then this one's a whole lot bigger. This one's about 17. So definitely the toe shafts do change in, in lengths. All right, so now we're gonna go to the bell housings. And uh, the bell housings on the R100 and the RX2, they are identical. So you can see uh, the casing uh they're exactly the same uh the bolt pattern that bolts to the to the engine is exactly the same on the r100 and the rx2 but the rx4 does change so if we look at the first like distance goes or or, or, or the length they're all about the same so if Right here, if we look at it carefully, it's measuring about five and a half. This one's measuring about five and a half. 
and this one's gonna measure right about five and a half so all the bell housings as far as length this way goes they're all the same but what does change are the patterns and that's because these two here is what you call top mount uh starters so on the rx4 starter sits right here on the bottom on the side rx2 r100 it's got a big old giant starter that sits right on top bolt pattern here i mentioned about the bolt patterns outside but i didn't mention about the bolt patterns in here so if you look at these there's one two three four five six bolts that hold the bell housing to the case now the rx2 bell housing and the rx4 bell housing they are interchangeable so you could go ahead and uh swap bell housings between these two so you got eight bolts here one two three four five six seven eight the other one sits behind this fork right here so so the rx2 and rx4 parts are interchangeable not not only are the bell housings interchangeable but the gearing inside they're identical like i said gear ratios are exactly the same when it comes to the rx2 and the rx4 and the rx3 so fortunately not with the r100 uh you, they're not interchangeable you can't put this bell housing on the r100 it just the bolts won't it just won't fit you could probably try to make it work but you would have to uh obviously do some modifications to it but when it comes to the rx2 and rx4 easy swap you don't want that big ugly top mount on here you go with the side mount all you do is just swap bell housings or vice versa so either way you'll work with it uh you will have some issues as far as like the length where the shifter sits and i uh, will get more into that in a bit okay another thing regarding uh these uh bell housings here too um so the release uh clutch forks an rx4 obviously goes here on top and the rx2 goes down here on the side and on the r100 it also goes down there on the side so uh those are some other differences on the on these trannies uh this one yeah like you see it sits down here it sits sits down here but uh this one sits uh straight up so now uh, another thing too that uh i forgot to mention to you guys uh far as like spline goes like this spline the the rx4 spline and the rx2 spline they they are uh like i was saying they're they're, they're exactly the same they're interchangeable but when it comes to the r100 spline as you can see uh the splines are a lot a lot bigger more spaced out less splines but the rx2 and the rx4 are identical now what what does that mean well that means that you're a clutch um you have to use r100 clutch uh you can't use a rx2 or an rx4 clutch uh because uh, the the splines are more there's more spline so it won't it won't fit on the r100 so um yeah us guys that are on 100 vehicles uh it's a it's a bit more challenging because not too many parts are interchangeable between rx2s threes or fours where you have the rx2 the rx3 and the rx4 uh they have more uh more uh parts that are interchangeable so all right so i'm sure this is the moment all y'all been waiting for you guys want to see the overall length and the distance between this edge to the shifter uh, i know a lot of us old school guys we like playing around and messing around with these trannies trying to see what fits on our old school rotaries and try to avoid that uh cutting on that tunnel right so so the overall length on the r100 is uh roughly 31 inches rx2 it's going to be the same 31 inches and rx4 it's going to be 32 and a half more or less roughly so yeah the r100 and the rx2 uh the distance overall distance they are uh, identical. RX4, uh, it's a little, it's a little long. Okay, so I'm gonna get my measuring tape and just put it right there on the edge. And if we look from the front of the shifter down here, it's uh, it's about 24 three quarters with R100. RX2, it's about 24 three quarters 
but the RX4 is going to be about 26 and 1 8 26 and 1 8 so definitely there is a couple inches of a difference so uh yeah your shift if you already used one of these on the old school rotary car you either move the engine forward or you're gonna have to cut some of that tunnel out some of that uh you know sheet metal on your tunnel all right so next we're gonna look at the transmission mount and the transmission mount sitting uh roughly about 20 inches rx2 uh I pre-measured it, so the RX2 is also sitting at 20 inches. So the R100 tranny and the RX2, right where the mount sits, uh, they are they are identical, uh, lengthwise mounts. They're both identical, but unfortunately for the RX4, it does change. Uh, I'm getting uh, what's that? Uh, 20 and a half. So there is a half inch difference. So that's a lot of ways you could go about it. You could just uh, you know just shimmy this here just uh, or drill another hole about half an inch and you could just uh, slide this up or down just to make it fit right in your uh, rx2 or r100 but they are very similar to one another uh, so. last but not least i want to go ahead and uh, give you guys the gear ratios um i guess it would be unfair not to give you the gear ratios between them but uh if we look at the rx2 RX2 and the RX4 tranny, these two are very similar. Like I was saying earlier, the rib casing, the gears inside, the gear ratio inside, they're identical. So you could see even the pan here, they're identical. They're, they're interchangeable. So uh, in case you guys have a bad RX2 tranny or an RX4 tranny, um, you try to get a hold of one or the other and just make one out of the two as far as uh, the, the center section goes. But yeah, so first gear on RX2 and the RX4, it's a 3.6 uh, for first gear. Second gear on RX2 and RX4 is a 2.263. And third gear is 1.397. And fourth gear, well, it's 1.0. So these two do have the same gearing ratios. Uh, obviously it's to one right so it's a 3.621 2.221 1.12 1.321 and obviously you know the uh, fourth gear just doesn't really matter but it's fourth gear so so for the r100 the gear ratios are a bit different uh so first gear would be a uh, 3.737 second gear would be a uh, 2.202 third gear is 1.435 and fourth gear was well, 1.0 so uh, as you can see, uh, the RX2, RX3, and the RX4 tranny gear ratios are exactly the same. Gearing are interchangeable, but not for the R100. R100 uh, is standing on its own as usual. All right, so there you go, fellas. In case you guys were wondering what the difference is, uh, there it is. Uh, I'm sure I might have left some, some things out. Uh, I just can't think of right now, but for the most part, uh those are the basics and the most important things you guys want to look out for uh for these trannies here so uh i just wanted to mention this uh of course so the rx4 tranny goes uh and the r100 and rx2 obviously they're all four gears uh if i didn't mention that in the beginning uh they they all they're all four gears uh muscle was yet to make them five gears back in those days a lot of cars were either three gears four gears so this was pretty much uh ahead of his game because uh they were one of the only few trannies out there that was able to withstand high rpm changes and uh and that's why they have those long gears uh so they could withstand those high rpms from the rotary engine so i believe the only one that did come five speed on the rx4 uh those cars were sold uh, um i believe they were sold in europe uh maybe some of you guys know more about that but i did hear about that that uh the very early five speeds that came on the rx4 in 74 75 they're actually five speeds and that was out there in europe we didn't get those trannies that would have been awesome that would have been cool if we did because you know that would give us a uh, you know some advantages on our old school rotary cars but maybe some of you guys know uh you can probably leave it on the comment if you're aware of that uh far as i know in europe maybe australia not too sure but um i had to get this video because i wanted to start working on the r100 
R100 tranny, cleaning it up, tearing it down and building it back up. Uh, that's going to be in a future video. So like I said, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, guys.